arteries. So we're going to start with the aorta and the ascending aorta. And then you have your aortic arch. And then you have your descending aorta, which in the back is this big artery. Next, you have your brachiocephalic artery, branching off of the aorta. Next, you have your right subclavian artery, which comes off of the brachiocephalic artery. And then you have your left subclavian artery. Which is independent of the brachiocephalic. And now you have your right common carotid artery, <laughs> which also stems from the brachiocephalic artery. Yeah. Yeah, like quicker. And then you have your your left common carotid, also stemming from the brachiocephalic. Next, you have your internal carotid artery. If you follow the carotid, you'll find it. <laughs> if you follow the carotid up, you'll find your internal. It, it's by the masseter muscles. This. Then you have your external carotid artery. It's right next to the internal. Next, you have your axillary artery. This artery stems from the um, subclavians. And then you have your brachial artery. Next, you have your radial artery. And next, you have your ulnar artery.